Chapter 7 Now when Solomon had made an end of praying, the fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the house. The priest could not enter into the house of the Lord, because the glory of the Lord filled the Lord's house. All the children of Israel looked on when the fire came down, and the glory of the Lord was on the house, and they bowed themselves with their faces to the ground on the pavement, and worshipped, and gave thanks to the Lord, saying, For he is good, for his loving kindness endures forever. Then the king and all the people offered sacrifice before the Lord. King Solomon offered a sacrifice of twenty-two thousand oxen and a hundred and twenty thousand sheep. So the king and all the people dedicated the house of God. The priests stood according to their offices, the Levites also with the instruments of the music of the Lord, which David the king had made to give thanks to the Lord, for his loving kindness endures forever. When David prays by their ministry, and the priests sounded trumpets before them, and all Israel stood. Moreover, Solomon made the middle of the court holy that was before the house of the Lord, for there he offered the burnt offerings and the fat of the peace offerings, because the brazen altar which Solomon had made was not able to receive the burnt offering and the meal offering and the fat. So Solomon held the feast at that time seven days, and all Israel with him, a very great assembly, from the entrance of Hamath to the brook of Egypt. On the eighth day they held a solemn assembly, for they kept the dedication of the altar seven days, and the feast seven days. On the twenty-third day of the seventh month he sent the people away to their tents, joyful and glad of heart for the goodness that the Lord had shown to David and to Solomon and to Israel his people. Thus Solomon finished the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all that came into Solomon's heart to make in the house of the Lord and in his own house, he prosperously effected. The Lord appeared to Solomon by night and said to him, I have heard your prayer, and have chosen this place to myself for a house of sacrifice. If I shut up the sky so that there is no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people, who are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways. Then will I hear from heaven, and will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. Now my eyes shall be open, and my ears attentive to the prayer that is made in this place. For now I have chosen, and made this house holy, that my name may be there forever, and my eyes and my heart shall be there perpetually. As for you... If you will walk before me as David your father walked, and do according to all that I have commanded you, and will keep my statutes and my ordinances, then I will establish the throne of your kingdom, according as I covenanted with David your father, saying, There shall not fail you a man to be ruler in Israel. But if you turn away, and forsake my statutes and my commandments which I have set before you, and shall go and serve other gods and worship them, then I will pluck them up by the roots out of my land which I have given them, and this house, which I have made holy for my name, will I cast out of my sight, and I will make it a proverb and a byword among all peoples. This house which is so high, every one who passes by it shall be astonished, and shall say, Why has the Lord done